Of course, we're uh, looking for things like last minute. Last minute. Always. Like, okay. But, you know, this is like amongst Canadian brethren. Yeah, fair enough. I okay. must pull up something fun for later. Were you, are you pulling up uh, <laughs> Winnipeg stats? Don't do on that. Hockey stats again? We're not going to talk about that. Because that's, that's where we left off like last time. The are you going to embarrass me with that? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, go ahead. Keep talking. Um, but yeah, that's where we left off last time with our, our friend that we're going to have on here from Winnipeg. Was the Canucks were playing the Jets. And I think we won that game. <laughs> And then we told. Does her that, anyone on this call re remember how that game went? No, no. But because like a year, a year ago, we couldn't tell you. Oh, well, let's br let's bring Kiana on. Just Kiana, <laughs> uh, we'll here bring her up is. here. Kiana from from Check It here, um, freshly so back from a, like a sunny place, and I'm jealous. Yes. How are you, Kiana? I'm great. I'm so good. I'm nice and tanned, as you just said. Got back from Mexico not too long ago. So, oh. yeah, I'm doing good. Awesome. Well, before we get We're too, really very too uh, before we get too deep into it here, I I, I really I got to share something oh, with no, you guys. Please right? don't. Yeah. It's this this has Kiana, to, he this told has me to he was going to show this. This is but, so embarrassing. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I alluded to this is where things left off the last time we chatted <laughs> to, and this is just We're going to have you on again probably Oh, it stopped. Whoops. Yeah, see, I stopped. Maybe it. I won't. <gasps> Stop. Don't play that. Okay. He did, yeah. Go ahead. It doesn't. It's... We're going to have you on again probably uh, in the near future again. We can, we'll circle back and uh, we'll do a check-in with you. Check in on check-in and we'll, uh, love. we'll have, we'd love to have you back on in uh, maybe a few months and uh, let you know what's going on. That sounds awesome. I had such a blast. Thanks so much for having me, guys. I can't wait for the next time. You betcha. Yeah. Enjoy the cold weather. Stay warm. Right, right back at, well, you guys are warm, but uh, warm. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> go Jets, go. <laughs> love you. Love, love the Jets. Love Winnipeg. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, take care, guys. Take care. Right. Thanks. See ya. Uh, it, that was great, <laughs> wasn't it? So, you know, Ty, Tyler clearly you made him. Ty, Tyler confesses his felt. love at the end of the show. <laughs> Last time. Clearly, you made an impression on me. Yeah, love it, love you, love Clearly. it. That's one of those moments when you're like, "Love it and see you," and for some reason, "Love you" yeah, comes yeah, out. Yeah, you keep saying that. You're, like, I'll let you guys no, do I your own. It's good. Nice, you know, enjoyable, you know, loving person. So I, I can see it. Don't <laughs> worry. It was nice. It was touching. Yeah, it was a good moment. <laughs> How is Kiana today? Thanks for joining us. Of course, anytime. Yeah. Do you want me to jump in? What do you want me to jump do? in? Want to run with it? I feel like I've been I, talking all I, day. I set it up. All right. You cool. go for it. Let's hit it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So check it. Here we are. We're back. We had you on uh, probably about a year ago when I our studio looks a little bit different now. I'm not sure if you've noticed. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, we've we've gotten a few of our customers on your your platform with your program. Uh, we love it. We think it's amazing. It's super smart, sophisticated, streamlined, amazing reputation management tool. Um, so let's quickly go back for any of our clients or anyone watching who wants to know what is check it. Totally. Yeah. So, uh, check it in a nutshell is a review management and customer interaction software. And really that's just a fancy way of saying that we give you the tools to communicate with your customers and communicate better with your customers through communication channels that they prefer, uh, which is primarily SMS, you know, texting being able to just text your customers if they have an appointment, if they have any type of reminders, if they, I mean, during COVID, we did a lot of COVID screenings where, you know, we would just oh, send wow. a screening to your customers so they could answer the COVID questionnaire, you know, no, I haven't left my house in 14 days. No, I haven't done this. All that fun stuff that we all remember. Um, mm. So that was a big one. Like, it's just, it's anything that allows you to streamline your processes when it comes to communication. So primarily that's SMS, but it does combine other channels like Facebook, you know, your Facebook messages come to check it. You can respond through fate through check. It goes back to them on Facebook messenger. You're also able to connect with your customers via Google chat. So lots of times if you're on your mobile device, you know, you're searching up different businesses and then a Google, my business appears. Right. And so there's usually a couple buttons. There's one that says website. There's one that says call. We have one that's integrated with the button that says chat. So right from there, you can literally just chat with your 
customer. They just send you a message. They found you online. They want to talk to you. You can talk to them in real time. So yeah, it's just, it's all about streamlining communication, making your life easier, making your customer's life easier. And then that kind of segues into the review management side, because as you build those communication channels and build that trust, you're then able to ask for that review. You know, you've seen the conversation, you've seen that, you know, your service has been good and, and you feel confident to ask this client for their feedback. Well, you might as well. And then let's send it via text because that's exactly how we've been chatting with them this whole time. So mm -hmm. it just allows you to streamline that process where you can text a review invitation. They click on a link. They decide the platform they want to leave it on, whether it's Google, whether it's Facebook. I mean, we have so many different industries. So there's so many different review platforms that are able to link through our platform, like TripAdvisor, uh, the Better Business Bureau, Yelp, you know, all of these review platforms that are really important you can link, have it listed, and yeah, you get to have that review from your customer. So wow. it just allows you to- I didn't know it had that functionality, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, so Tyler, you, you you haven't looked it over? Well, no, no, I the, of course, but I- <laughs> <laughs> Tyler. I'm just We're kidding. just gonna make fun of each other all day. Yeah. That's uh, what we do. Through the whole session That's today. What we do. But I, uh, being able to link in like Yelp and other sort of third party uh, review systems, that's- uh, that, that's, That's really awesome. Cool. Yeah. Um, what about, um, um, what is it, WebMD? Oh, 100%. Absolutely. There you it's go. really any type of review platform that you already are using. Like, I mean, we have so many home service companies. So let's say, you know, electricians and plumbers, sometimes they even have like their own website that they want people to have access to leave a review on. All they have to do is link it. And then you have access to leave a review on Google, on Facebook, or your own website. So it's totally customizable and really it just gives you that feedback and, and it bumps you up on those platforms. So it's, it's awesome. That's cool. And then you have your sort of your own sort of dashboard interface that you're using, correct? Um, correct. And the, and the reason I want to touch on that is because I think the, the ability to customize those messages. So if my dentist or my contractor or somebody, you know, let's stick with healthcare. So if my dentist is sending me a text message, say it's a reminder or it's a request for review, if they can customize it and make it more about me, their patient, instead of just seeing some sort of automated message like, hey, welcome to so-and-so dental, your appointment's coming up, or you know, the ability to like, I think it goes a long way to be able to customize it for your clients and say, you know, hey, Kiana, uh, it was great seeing you yesterday. Uh, if you got a, if you got a, thanks for using our, you know, our uh, form intakes, whatever, whatever communication the, the client's using to say yeah. thanks for using it and hey, um, since you've been using our whole system, would you mind giving us a review or mm -hmm. something customized to make the patient or the customer feel like, hey, these guys actually care about me. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know what, there's just touching on that. Like we have such good best practices that we kind of give customers depending on the industry that they're in. Um, but specifically with healthcare, let's just say, you know, you have a new patient. Um, new patients can often be a little bit worried about coming in. You know, it's, it's a new place. Right. They don't really know the practice. They don't really know, you know, what's the flow of the day? What's the flow of the appointment going to be? Um, so a really great way and a, a great way to kind of personalize any type of introduction is after an appointment is booked, then send out that, you know, specific and custom message to your customer saying, hey, Kiana, we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Here's a picture of the doctor you're going to be seeing today. So I already know who I'm seeing. I know their name because we can put that in the template. I have a picture of what they look like. So I know who I'm looking for. You could even have a Very picture cool. of, you know, whoever is going to be at the front desk. You know, Linda is going to help you out. The second you get in, go to her. She's going to be happy to help you have all the forms you need to fill out. So now I know, okay, I walk in, I have to go to the front. I'll talk to Linda. She's got everything for me. So there's just ways that you can make your customer feel appreciated and, and just, okay, comfortable. And that's all over text. You know, everybody seems mm -hmm. to think that that has to be in person. And yes, in person is when it really mm -hmm. kind of, you get to really show yourself in your company, but you can start that process right from the phone. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Well, this goes back to, sorry to cut you off, but like just by like to, to expand on that. Hold the phone. I got uh, something I want to say. I wanted to. <laughs> no talking allowed for right. today for you. Uh, just kidding. Um, is that this goes and this this is not a new philosophy, right? I remember when I used to be a bartender or a server at a at a at a, at a fairly well known restaurant in Canada. Well, that was like twenty five years ago. The twenty, easy. See, this is that's why for, I'm not letting you talk. That's for cutting me off. Right. Thank you. <laughs> many many years ago, when I was a waiter, um, <laughs> we we would the, we would have two sides of the restaurant, okay, mm -hmm. and the door would come in the middle with the hostess stand. Well, 
they always say like, you know, even if your arms are full of plates and you got to get somewhere and you're in a hurry, do whatever, just as you're walking past the front door, take one second to look at the customer who had just walked in mm -hmm. and say, Hey, thanks for coming in. Someone will be right with you. Uh, and the reason I use that example is you, that's what this tool allows you to do to say, Hey, we know you're here. Hello. Welcome. Uh, you know, as we're, as you're coming into the practice, uh, we're mm -hmm. aware that you're here and we value your time. So I think it allows the operator, those touch points along the way, just like in the restaurant okay. business to say, Hey, you're here. We appreciate you. We'll be right with you. And to piggyback off of that, you know, in part and parcel with our nine pillars, intake is like the intake, the white glove service, the touch points are a super important piece on not only like making that, that patient feel comfortable coming into the practice, it's, it's, you, you know, now you've got like a foot up and having that patient now come back, you know, totally, and that's yeah. what it's all about. It's, it's all about preemptively ensuring they're, you know, they're comfortable. They have a place to ask any questions that they, you know, they need to ask. And then when they're leaving, you know, with that final touch up of, you know, if you, you know, you enjoyed your service you, you, in the chair today, it would really help us if you left a review because mm -hmm. we all know how interconnected the review is for SEO, for, for reputation management, for other people that are looking for the wonderful services that you provide. So having a tool like this, and not only like the tool itself, but the system behind the tool. The tool is only as good as the user. So getting that system in place, you know, the folks at Check It and, and ourselves, we're, we're here to build that piece into your infrastructure, into your architecture so that, you know, you're utilizing things at its full capacity. Totally. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And just to piggyback off of you, where oh, you're piggybacks. saying that, you, <laughs> <laughs> where you're saying, you know, just how important those reviews are. Like, I really do want to stress that, that, you know, everybody says, you know, leave us a review. You know, we'd love to hear your kind words online. Yes, that's true. Of course. It, like me as a user of somebody who's just looking for, let's say, a new dentist. I'm going to look online. I'm going to look at reviews. So obviously that's going to sway me as like a new potential client and my decision of if I'm going to see you or not. But in order to even get there, like in order for me to even see your reviews, you need reviews. So yeah. the yes, whole thing a lot of about them. that, you need a lot of them, is Google has you ranked. And so Google mm -hmm. ranks you not necessarily and truly not at all by your actual number. So let's say everybody's so, you know, I want five stars. And of course you do. You know, you want mm -hmm. everybody to say that, like, I loved my service. You want your service to be up to par. You have that standard of yourself that's going to be five stars. Absolutely. You need multiple five star reviews. Yeah. Because the number of reviews is what boosts you on Google's ranking. So if, you know, I have a dental practice, but so does Mark. If Mark has more reviews than I do, Mark's dental practice is going to be seen way more mm -hmm. than mine is. You're going to have to scroll and scroll to find my practice. And by that time, Let's be honest, like people of this world are extremely busy. They are mm -hmm. a little bit lazy when it comes to, you know, not wanting to spend too much time just searching all the time. So if I see one dental practice with great amount of reviews and really good words to say, I'll just go with them. Why mm -hmm. am I going to then waste my time yeah. searching for 10 more other practices, compare and contrast them? I'm not going to do that. Let's be real. Right. I'm going to find one that's close to me where I live and the one that has the best reviews. And so that's what we're talking about is that's what gets you those reviews, that's what gets you listed and, and looked at mm -hmm. and, and you need them in order for that to happen. Totally. Yeah. And now, now I'll piggyback off of myself, piggybacking <laughs> off Tyler. Is that even possible? And piggybacking off Kiana, piggybacking off. I tried piggybacking myself once and I think I sprained my ankle doing it. Um, and now I've, I'm well. piggybacking so much that I can't even think about what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> yes, and, and this all boils down to organic traffic and building up that piece to drive organic traffic. So um, I cannot understate how important the review and how interconnected into SEO, uh, like the importance of that piece. Not only do you have like a really user-friendly platform to drive this metric forward, 
this metric is super important. If there's anything that you can do easily in practice, it's have somebody ask, like ask them to leave a review. You know, how much are you paying for advertisement? How much are you paying for this? Yeah. How much are you paying for that? How much time do you spend on social media? You know, are you placing ads? Like, this is a really easy thing to do. Ask for reviews, yeah. and the impact that think, it, yeah, yeah uh, the impact that it has when it's been done properly and it's set up is it's it's a powerful thing. So, do you like? And, and the reason I sort of chimed in there was, um, do you find like? When I talk to my dental clients about getting reviews, often they'll get pushback from their team. So getting getting the team to uh, be on board with asking for reviews sometimes can be a bit of a challenge. So, do you find that like um, are there are there advantages or there are there ways to get around that to get to like I'm assuming check it helps get the team on board when it comes 100%. to asking for reviews. Yeah. So there's a couple of different um, different options that we have. Uh, what I say is that if you're going to be using Check It in the, the most manual sense, which means that you're doing the majority of the work, you know, you're typing in your customer's name and phone numbers to send messages, which really isn't that hard. You're already doing it anyway. So it's just adding another message of sending a review. But if you are right. using Check It for the majority of your purposes, which means, you know, sending out appointment reminders, um, sending out if your question, like your customers are contacting you via our web chat with any type of questions, with any type of inquiries, then it's just part of your day to day, which is just at the end of an appointment, sending out a review invitation because you're already on the check it system for your day to day needs. So just sending out a review invitation after an appointment is just as simple. Now, lots of people use check it in a more minimal sense. So some people use it for, you know, like I said, using it day to day, constantly always on the dashboard, talking with their customers. And that's the beauty of our platform is you can do that. It you, it, you can use it to the full extent of what it can be. You also could use it for just reviews where people don't necessarily use it for the communication aspect. You know, maybe they, they don't necessarily need the web chat. They don't necessarily want the appointment reminders. They just want to be able to send reviews and they want to be able to track those reviews and see how people are engaging with them. You can then use Check It for more of an automated process if we can integrate with your CRM platform. So let's say that you have a CRM platform where you know it has a trigger so let's say an appointment goes from pending to confirmed you can then ask check it to pick up on that trigger and send out a review invitation so it very much automates that process so now you're strictly really using cool. it for the yeah the reputation management side where it's just doing the work for you after appointments are booked or after appointments are completed a review invitation is sent out so there's that aspect to it as well, because we understand businesses are busy and we understand that, you know, adding another thing for your team to do for us, you know, it's, it sounds so easy. It's, oh, just send out an invitation. But for somebody who has, you know, a million other things on their plate, adding a that, it's a maybe, billion now, Sorry. <laughs> adding that may be overwhelming to them. So to then to offer it more of an automated process is, is very intriguing. So yeah, that's definitely one thing that, you know, I talk about when I talk to customers that are like, I don't know, you know, my team is a little bit overwhelmed. I don't know if we can tackle this right now. Then it's like, well, let's see if we can automate it for you. Let's see if we can make your life a little easier. So, yeah. Very cool. Because that was going to be one of my next questions is, is what's new at Check It? So is that a newer feature or has that always sort of been baked in? Uh, you know, it's it's definitely increased. It's We had it where, you know, there were just a few C CRM softwares that we were able to integrate with. So we didn't advertise it too much just because Check It deals with, you know, <laughs> hundreds of industries and within those industries are thousands of CRM softwares. So the likelihood that, you know, we would have connections to any CRM software is just impossible. Uh, right. But since then we've integrated with a software called Zapier. And so Zapier is a mm. bridging software and they're yep. the ones that connect us to the CRM. And so that has definitely boosted our automation process. There's a lot more softwares that are getting on to Zapier, which then allows us to integrate with mm -hmm. them. So right. that's definitely we'd been. We? Yeah, we have. I think we've used Zapier. Yeah. Um, there, there are so many now. <laughs> There's yeah. so many platforms that do so many different things, but and it shows what the need in the market is for something like Zapier. Yeah, totally. To I have like, an open architecture, yeah, uh, API sort that. of hook on point, right? Yeah, yeah. and and no, and being aware of what's out there, what's available in terms of tools, and how it could enhance your automation and 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 do great things within your business that 
you need to do in this day and age um i just i don't think that everybody is aware you know like check it is is, is one of those well right? and, and he, here's the thing for me is that you know being in the dental industry obviously like i sell practice management softwares right so mm -hmm. i don't want to cut off my nose to spite my face so i i think for me like check it being in the dental space it's a really nice sort of adjunct to a practice management software that's really not going to break the bank right so if you're yeah, like look totally i've already got a practice management software i don't want to spend another ten thousand dollars on a software yeah. one yeah, that yeah. does like when i want you know three or four functions or maybe maybe i just want the review function or whatever mm -hmm. but yeah. I, I think that that check it offers a unique little sort of basket of goods which is really really cool it and compelling really yeah and it, yeah. you don't have to go and buy a whole new practice management software mm -hmm. to get these tools and it's like a pretty inexpensive monthly cost am i right Absolutely. Yeah. It's just, it's 99 bucks a month. And so honestly, it's like, yeah, like 1200 bucks a year. Like it's really not expensive. It's really user friendly and like specifically just on the topic of automations, that is something that check it is really driving towards. And that actually ties into another feature that's new with check it. Um, and that's called our smart replies. And so this ties into a little bit more of the communication side of check it. Um, but it's, it's for, a little bit of those mundane questions that come in that you just wish you had, you didn't have to answer. <laughs> I mean, it sounds you funny, but like, um, just I wait. need to check I'll it for just my day to day so life. Is this then. like is this like a chat hybrid oh, type of thing? Then? It's Tyler sending me another text. Here's my auto reply. <laughs> yeah, Tyler, Tyler, I know you're going to be late. We know this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So the way that it works is, so we have, um, I like to compare it to our auto reply. Um, our auto reply is specifically triggered towards our business hours. So you set your business hours, whether you're open, you know, Monday to Friday, every day, who knows, whatever your hours are, you set them. And what happens is if somebody connects with you and chats with you within, you know, the check it channels, um, if they're, if you are open, they'll receive your automatic reply. If you're closed, they'll receive your out of office reply. So your customer always knows that your message is in the queue, whether it's in the queue that you're open, you know, hey, receive your message, we'll get back to you in just a minute. Or if it's at, you're out of office, like, oh, you reached us when we're closed, we're back to work on Monday morning, we'll talk to you then. Whatever you kind of want to have that. So that's our automatic out of office, specifically triggered to hours. Now we have our smart replies, where you actually get to choose what the trigger is. So let's say that you wanted to do um, an auto reply based off of let's do your hours again, but let's just say now, instead of it's, it's not, you know, triggered towards the auto responses of your hours, but it's, what are your hours? So, you know, those questions where people are like, are you open today? And you're like, okay, you made it to my website. You know, you typed in our web chat. If, if you just looked a little bit more, you'd see that our hours are listed right there. You know what I mean? You can now bring a horse to the water. But you can't force it to drink. Exactly. Yeah, I know. So maybe if it was my wife tells me that every day. If it was, <laughs> it's like just put this, your stuff in the dishwasher, dude. It, like, come on, man. Maybe if it was I'm cold beer, I don't know. Do you Get put it. it right above the dishwasher? Um. Yeah, I, I think I've I've tried. We. I, sorry, the, I'm derailing. I know, but I'm. I did the derailing. So yes, it's my fault. I am bad for this. Yeah. Where I put stuff on the counter above the dishwasher, and she's like, "Hello." You're a grown man. What yeah. is wrong with you? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to use that again. I just don't want to like dirty another plate. I'm going to use it again. And she's like, mm, yeah. I have not bought that the excuse old, in 20 years. The time. old no. use it again trick. I always think yeah. I'm going to use a plate again because I don't want to dirty another one. Well, but you don't. You never use yeah. the same plate. I can tell you that right now. And I have never been to your home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're bang on. So, so to, I'm going to put things in reverse. Um, so we we talked about the the monthly cost on this piece like i know there's a, i'm aware of a couple of different softwares that do less than what check it does for like literally four or five times more a month right so like uh, like to put things in pr perspective here this is a really powerful tool it doesn't break the bank and for what it provides the practice it's priceless and just the like the review management alone will pay for itself in organic traffic. And people are drinking from the river. They're drinking from. You've the got river. the horse drinking now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know what you I say to yeah. a lot of customers is, you know, with our review management tool, you're using your existing customers' feedback to gain your potential customers' business. 
because you're using already the resources that you have, which is the experiences that your customers already have, the good words that they want to share about you. And then that in turn is going to then allow you to get the potential customers business that's out there because they're looking at your reviews. They're looking at who's yeah. mentioned, you know, if, if a specific person on your team is mentioned, I'm going to look for that person when I'm at your, your dental practice whether it's the dentist I'm working with, whether it's you know just a really great review about the receptionist that took care of my insurance, whatever it is. But it's mm -hmm. like, it's, it's, it's using what you already have to get what you want. And it's just the easiest thing in the world. It barely costs you anything, just really the 99 bucks for the platform, but you're using already the resources that you have. You're just giving your clients the ways to get to do it. Right, very cool. So call us please. Hey, new Let, camera. Let's get you set up with Check It. Hi. We'll get you set up with Kiana and the yep. lovely folks at Check It. Like, you're missing out. You're just missing out. You need to this get is, This is Mark's infomercial angle. This is. Call this number. Call this number. <laughs> For a limited time only. <laughs> oh, yes. In the next 20 minutes. <laughs> it's a limited time If offer. you order one Check It, we'll give you a second <laughs> Check It for free. Kiana's got it right. Can you say that again, Kiana? But wait, there's more. There's oh, more. there is. Oh, man. It's like, what is it? Oh, if you call today, I was already hooked. Oh. You get a box set of Wayne Newton CDs <laughs> and those oh. like, yeah. And you receive an extra pocket knife or whatever. they. But do, that's yeah. pending. We're still waiting for his approval on that. Yeah, so yeah, don't yeah. quote me on it. He's in. He's totally in. Cool. This oh. is awesome. So the, the, the I love the uh, the smart messaging. Is there anything else? I mean, that's that's a ton. So, I mean, hey. There's sounds like there's a couple of cool new things that check it as somebody walks into the studio and then quickly back out again. Um, <laughs> hi, bye. See ya. Okay. Is there anything else uh, new that you wanted to talk to us about? Like how's, how's Winnipeg? I mean, Winnipeg is fine and dandy. I mean, I was gone for the majority of the blizzards that we had. So happy oh, about that, but I got here. lots of pictures. Like my, uh, my in-laws, they live on a, <laughs> they live on a horse ranch. And they sent us pictures of their uh, driveway, and it was twelve foot high, like snow high piles, like twelve feet high. Uh, I was like, that, that looks that look crappy. Like? <laughs> what does that look like? Yeah. What does a twelve foot snow drift or a snow pile look like? That's it's scary. Like it looks very mm. scary and like depressing because it's like, how much warm weather are we going to need to have for that to melt? It's yeah. depressing. It's what, depressing. Do we, we want to calculate it? So, no, I don't know. We had some snowfall as well. I think we got, I think yeah, we, we got had like, some one snowfall. I think we got an inch and a half. Yeah, it was crazy. Like yeah. the oh, piles were like, it's crazy. It's like cool. it almost, your shoe almost went. It was in, Armageddon here in Vancouver. Yeah. yeah. People was were literally little driving slippery? off the road. Did you, did you miss it's So step slippery. Up up it was so slippery. Actually, I got a story. I, I was coming off the ferry, okay, um, heading up to a friend's cabin on in on seashell for the folks that don't know where that is it's on the sunshine coast of bc it's a beautiful area so when you when we left when you leave the the ferry terminal heading up towards seashell there is a like a gnarly hill like this hills it's you go like you're going up into the mountains here right and here i am with my with my buddy sitting to the right and uh you know on the mighty civic the mighty honda civic um <laughs> the mighty honda civic. and it's just freshly snowed. I think they're no more for endurance than being mighty. Well, it had, had to have endurance today getting up or that day getting up the hill. True. So we couldn't like, it, it was awful. Like, it, you know, we was driving at, at, at regular, the speed limit. And then, and you know, it's like, why is everything, why is everybody slowing down up this hill? Like, come on, I want to get to the cabin. I'm going to have a couple beers, right? And we slow right down and like, I'm not kidding. Like we almost didn't make it really up this hill. So I was That's like, scary. and Did then we were like, on your car? you know what, man, we're going to stop at the Canadian tire. We got to buy some chains. And then we turned a corner and it was pouring rain. Like, okay, this is, oh I love this. God. This yeah. is more BC to me. That's more. That's you guys even have winter tires? No. Well, well I, I do. I well, I have a truck and then I have like an SUV. So they just come with like the mountain rated tires. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just put new tires on the SUV. So mm. it's, I know those are, they're not snow. They're just all season. Like, yeah. you can't say all season. They're going to be mountain rated snow. They have to have like a little S on them or whatever. Yeah. Um, or mountain yeah. rated. But um, 
typically here, like I would put snow tires on my car because I would have to go up to Kelowna or Pen Penticton, which means you have to go over the Coquihalla, which means you're going yeah. up to like 4,000. Well, that didn't happen this year. We had a, had a massive storm. But and half those roads got wiped out this gone year. They're gone right now. So, yeah. Yeah. so you, uh, the answer to your question, do you need snow tires? No, you need like uh, a Red Cross, at least a gold level in swimming. Because that's the amount of rain that we get. Yeah. You need a bathing <laughs> You need cap. And a, and a good bathing cap and yeah. like a decent pair of goggles, ones that don't fog up For too sure. much because, you know. Snorkel, Again, just it's been, in case you know. A snorkel, yeah. yeah. In case you fall into a deep yeah. puddle. Yeah. Uh, it has been great having you on today. We're just going to keep cracking jokes, so you and can we, go anytime. And we do <laughs> love you, too. We do love you, Kian. We're like, that wasn't a, you know, a, a mistake. I appreciate yeah. that. Okay? I felt we, it. So. I truly did. Good. I felt that it that was good. 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 Sure. Thank you. Good. And yeah, I didn't want. I didn't mean to deminimalize it. And it the, the most awful it. part about it, too, is Tyler said it, and like, she almost fell off her chair laughing. That's, yeah. that, that was, I, was. I did. It was very <laughs> unexpected, but very flattering. So oh, there you go. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. So cool. here's a, one quick question before we go. I'm, I'm looking at the standings. Oh, I'm no, sorry. Because you're a hockey fan, right? Yeah. We, we talked about the Jays last time. Now, here's the thing. I'm not, this is not a bad thing. I, like I said, I'm, I'm a, a bit of a Jets fan just because like their legacy. And I remember watching Timu and the guys back in the nineties. Timu. Um, but if you look at the standings, there's, uh, it looks like you guys are at 55 points and the Predators are sitting, it looks like they're in the last playoff spot in your division, which is at 64. So do you think the Jets have got a shot? You know, the, okay. Um, obviously. <laughs> She's like, the gloves are off. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think they, we had a little bit of some COVID and I hate to blame it on COVID because everything is about COVID, but we had That's a bunch of games delayed and like we weren't able to play in our own arena. And we always know that like Jets fans are the best fans. And so I feel like because we didn't have all those home games, it just like really declined our motivation. Mm. So I'm hoping mm. that they have a few more home games coming up before it's like donezo, before it's like, yeah, they can't make it at all. So mm. I think there's a chance it's slim, but I'm always down for an underdog and we're definitely the underdog this year. We beat Arizona. I think that was two nights ago, last night, yeah. Sunday, Sunday. Mm. And that it. was a big game. Cause if we lost that, it would have been done. So I think we're okay. We're not doing great. So I won't talk about how amazing we are, but well, I definitely think we can make it. It would be a great story, right? Cause you guys are, you're nine points behind the fourth place team in your division, which is, I mean, I think, I think, I think you have, I think it's so mathematically possible. The Canucks are in a bit better of a situation, but not much. But they're not the Canucks yet. have been a bit of a tear lately. So I'm gonna knock on. You away. know what? They would be doing a lot better if it wasn't for COVID. You know, a lot of them through December. <laughs> have COVID. Listen to this. <laughs> just throwing it right okay. back at you, Kiana. I'm just. Oh man, we love you. We love okay, you. but you know what? It's it's exciting. So here's a little <laughs> a little story of hope. So yesterday, my team. So I put my back out. So I didn't get to. I was, I'm the head coach for uh, a peewee hockey team, my son's team, and I didn't get to go. I had to watch it from Live Barn. And if you've ever, if, if you have kids in hockey and you log on to Live Barn, there's a little plug for them. Uh, what a great tool. I got to watch this game that my son was playing and my assistants were running the bench or whatever. So I had to watch it from, so I was, I'm able to text my assistants like, hey, is awesome. Make sure, you know, James is skating harder or whatever. Kind of fun stuff. Awesome. But, we were down 6-2 at the beginning of the first period. It was not going well. Right. We came back and it was tied 10-10. Sorry, it was 9-10 for them with 40 seconds left in the game. And we tied it up. That's a victory in my opinion. <laughs> a lot of game left. There's always a lot of game left. A lot of game left. Cool. Uh, Kiana, this has been fantastic. Thank you again for being on the show. And uh, we love Check It. We're going to keep uh, talking about it to our clients and our friends. We will. Aren't we? Yeah, we will. Yeah. Awesome. I will. Yeah, cool. Oh, well, good. thanks All for right. having me. This was awesome, guys. It was. It was fun. It was good. Yep. Always fun, Kiana. We'll chat soon. You bet. I'm not saying it this Take time. Care. I'm going <laughs> to say goodbye. I'm going to say goodbye. It was great talking to you. Cool. Yay. Oh, the Kiana outro. Come on. And Check It. The outro's not playing for us oh, today. Oh, no. You, we... broke, you broke the outro. And she left. She got so embarrassed. <laughs> what are we going to do? We could sing. 
Um, you go ahead, Ty. Sing. No. I already sang earlier. I sang the. Uh, and, uh, uh,